What's up YouTube, Jeff back again today with a very exciting Samsung video for you guys. Today, I'm gonna get into 10 amazing things you can do with your Galaxy Z Fold 5. Now, if you guys haven't been following the channel for the launch so far, I have already made my first 10 things to do video where I show you the first things to do to set up your phone out of the box. If you're new to Samsung or foldables, check that out. Also made my beast mode video where I show you guys how to get the most battery life and performance out of your phone. I'll drop the links below to both of those if you wanna check them out. But today we're gonna to talk about tips and tricks specific to the Galaxy Z Fold 5, new features, gestures, multitasking, all the stuff that you want on your foldable. Before we get started, I do wanna thank my son, Jonathan, for giving us the uh, dinosaur over here. We got the Parasol Office hanging out with us today. He always gives us one, we appreciate that. Also wanna remind you guys that if you're interested in saving some money on your wireless service, you can do so by switching to my partners over at Mint Mobile. Mint Mobile has premium wireless starting at just $15 a month. And right now, one of their best deals of the year, they have unlimited premium wireless, just $15 a month is 50% off the normal unlimited price. Now Mint has a plethora of different plans. They've got a five gig plan, 15 gig plan, 20 gig plan, and the aforementioned unlimited plan. But during this limited time offer, all of them are 50%, uh, sorry, not 50% off, but all of them are $15 a month rather. And so of course you're gonna wanna opt for that unlimited plan. All the plans come with limited talk and text, nationwide coverage, mobile hotspot included as well. Very simple to switch to Mint. You get an eSIM or physical SIM, also send you out a SIM tool so you can pop out your old SIM, pop in your mint SIM and let the savings begin. I've been using them for about 10 months here in the Phoenix era, I have great service. If you guys haven't tried them yet, go to mintmobile.com slash ringer. Also in the pinned comment description, sign up for any three month mint mobile plan today with my link. And I'm also gonna send you a free smartphone case of your choice, just like uh, the Samsung S Pen case for the Fold 5. If you were interested in that case, um, you could sign up for a three month mint mobile plan with my link. Get in touch with me via Twitter, DM or email and I'll send you out that case. I'm doing that as a personal thank you for you guys trying Mint. We do appreciate Mint for being partners with the channel. So let's go ahead and get right into it. The most useful thing to know when you're using a Z Fold 5 in terms of getting around is the taskbar. The taskbar is this guy at the bottom. When you're an app like I am here in Twitter, you've got some of your most recently used apps, some of your favorite apps, and you've also got your full app drawer if you wanna get it in there. Now you can customize this by going to the settings. You're gonna to go to display, and you're gonna scroll down to taskbar. You see the taskbar is enabled by default. You can actually turn it off if you want, but there's some other things you can customize within there. First thing you can do is you can change the number of recent apps, that's the one shown over here, from two to three to four. So you can see I change it to four, it gives me two more applications there, so I've got four total. You can also turn on or off show and hide with touch and hold. So by default, if you touch and hold this, the taskbar will go away, you can touch and hold to bring it back. Now if you don't want that, you can turn it off, then this will just show here all the time at the very bottom. You can also turn the taskbar off entirely, but I don't know why anyone would want to do that. It's a super useful feature. I personally like the touch and hold, but you can see which one, you know, those things that you really want to do. The next place that you really need to go on your Galaxy Z Fold 5 is go down to the advanced features part of settings. And there's a couple of things to look at. The first thing is to look at multi-window. Multi-window has all of your different gestures for using multitasking on the Z Fold 5. You've got a couple of things. I would recommend enabling all of them, but of course you can listen to what they all do here and then you can decide which ones you want to enable. Swipe for split screen allows you to swipe. In fact, if you go in here, it'll show you. You swipe with two fingers from the side or the bottom. So it shows you right here. You just swipe from two fingers from the side or the bottom to open multitasking like that. And then of course you can swipe back out of it. You can also adjust the size just like I did there. So that's a really cool way to get into split screen multitasking. You can also swipe for pop-up view. So let me go into Twitter. This is something I use a lot with Twitter. Swipe from the top right corner and it'll bring it into pop-up view like this. And then of course you can also minimize it as a pop-up window right there and then leave Twitter there later. You could get in there and uh, use that and kind of do whatever you want. You could do other things and then come back with a pop-up view. So very simple. And again, if you ever need to go in there and see how the gesture works, there's a little graphic that shows you how to do it. But you guys saw me do it right there. Um, the next thing is show multi-window menu with one window. Uh, you can tap the handle to show the menu. And of course, this is talking about right here. You can see this top menu here. That is the multi-window that they're talking about. The thing that lets you go into pop-up view, change those sorts of things. You can enable that. Uh, full screen and split screen view. If you turn this on, what it will do is if you have two apps open in split screen view, you'll then be able to go ahead and get a complete full screen. So the task bar, the uh, notifications bar, or sorry, the information bar at the top will go away and then you'll be able to get that information. Um, you can swipe to show the bars if you want, 
but this allows you to take full screen real estate of your Z Fold 5 when you're multitasking. Um, it hides status and navigation bars um, so you can see more of each app. This is great if you're trying to watch a video. So if you have something like, let's say YouTube open, uh, and then let's say you have Twitter here as well, then you can see that it hid my status and navigation bars. And so if I wanna touch to see them, you do have to be careful because you can trigger something like there, I triggered my casting. You can swipe down a little bit and then it will show them. And then of course you can go back to a single app view just like I did there. Um, and then you're back to doing what you want to do. So very important to get into those settings. I would recommend turning all of them on. I think they're incredibly useful, but if you don't want to use one of them, of course you can leave it off. Multi-window for all apps. That's something else that you definitely want to enable. That's under the lab section. So if you go to advanced features, let me go back. At the very top is the lab section. Uh, under the lab section, you can turn on multi-window for all apps. This will force applications to run in multi-window like pop-up and side-by-side uh, -side view, even if they don't support it natively within the APK. Um, and that is something that you definitely will enjoy using. I would turn it on. Most apps look fine in the multi-window view, even though they don't support it officially. Uh, landscape view for portrait mode. This is something you may want to turn on some specific apps like Instagram. Um, and then you can go in here when you turn it on, uh, you can turn this on full screen for Instagram, or you can turn it app default, you know, whatever it is you want to do. Um, and that means that when you turn it, let me go back into Instagram here. Here's Instagram. By the way, Instagram got a new fancy layout for the Fold 5. You guys see this now. They really should bring this to tablets. But now if I rotate this, you see that I get this window and it's not ideal because Instagram doesn't really support landscape properly. Um, but you do still get to see it. It just doesn't support it um, in the way that you might like. Now you can also change this to full screen and then when you go into Instagram and you rotate it, now it's just gonna rotate that interface, which is much better. So you kind of have to play with this on a per app basis, but it's definitely something worth looking at and deciding. Instagram is the big one for me. Most of the other ones work fine, um, but if you come across an app that you use that doesn't work properly in landscape, you can try to force it to do so using this feature. Uh, and the next one is the flex mode panel. This allows you to keep an app open on the top screen and additional controls on the bottom when your phone's folded up right. A button will appear on the navigation bar and let you know, um, show you and hide the flex mode panel. It's only available for the one. You can see here the ones you want to show it automatically. Um, one of the big ones I would say is YouTube, which does have a custom layout. Um, any of the ones that have custom layouts, like camera, all the stock apps, are really good ones to enable. And uh, what this lets you do, if I go into YouTube, and let me see if I can flex it here. It's kind of hard to do behind the camera. But if you go into flex mode here, you'll see you've got your uh, viewing window up here and all of your controls in the bottom. So you can even have like your chat window if you're doing a live stream or you're doing a chat, all that kind of stuff. So like if I'm watching a video, and yes, you can still get a pretty good view of the video there on the top. And you can also still kind of do like your multi-window within YouTube as well. So a lot of cool features there. Definitely recommend turning that on. You can play with which apps that you want to enable, but the ones that have custom layouts, you might as well do it anyway. I mean, a lot of these are now optimized for the full, especially Netflix, YouTube, all those type of video applications. The next thing is the drag and split multi-active window. So a lot of people know that if you have a window, let me go back to Twitter, that you can you know, do the swipe gestures, we talked about that, but you can also drag and drop these into the multi-windows. Like if I wanna have Instagram as well, I can drop it wherever I want. And you can also have a third app. So if you wanna go, let's say I then wanted to also go with Chrome, I can bring Chrome down here and I can actually have three applications all at the same time, which is really, really cool. Um, and of course, you, you, know, you can see here, that's a maximum you can do, which is really the maximum amount that you should try to do anyway, because it's very hard to do otherwise. Now, of course, in the middle, you can switch these around. You can favorite this orientation. Um, which you can then add it to the edge panel, the home screen, or you can actually pin this down to your taskbar. So now this will be a favorite configuration uh, and I can recall that configuration anytime I want and I can get back into using all three of these applications. Of course, the other thing I love about Samsung is it's so easy, right, to change the application, to swipe back into full screen, to flip them, to do whatever you want. You can change the orientation, you can go back to a single window, all of it can be done now with gestures. And of course, as I say that, I'm doing a terrible job behind the camera, but it's a little harder behind the camera than it is if you're just doing it yourself. Anyway, 
that's a very cool feature. The other thing that I love is if you go inside the Samsung internet browser and you use this as your default, um, what you can do is you can actually do this with links. This doesn't work in Chrome, so you have to use Samsung internet. But if you see like the uh, off to college, I could long press on this. I could drag and drop this link over here and I could open it in a new multi-window. And now I have the original Amazon page and the link that I wanted to open on the side. That works with any website, not just Amazon, but it has to be done within the Samsung internet browser, like I said. So it's a little limiting because of course, I like to use Chrome. A lot of you probably like to use Chrome as well because of that. So let's now go back and look at one other thing, which is on home screen in the settings, and that is cover screen mirroring. So this is kind of a decision you have to make. By default, the cover screen, which is the small screen, the skinny one on the outside, and your big screen are separate home screens, separate wallpapers, app trays, all that. Um, but if you want to mirror them, um, you can turn this on, and what it will do is it will allow the layout from the cover screen to be copied to the main screen. Um, what it does, though, is it takes the cover screen and copies it only to the left side panel. So whatever apps I have on the cover screen, like here, you can see my cover screen, all of these would basically then be copied and pasted right here on the left side. Uh, I don't like this personally, but you can see if you do, of course, you know, in some sense it gives you some continuity, um, but it's not something I like to do. The one nice thing is you can try it, and then if you turn it off, your previous layout will be restored to the main screen. So if I wanted to try it, I could always go back to what I have now. It's not gonna erase what I have now. I can play with that again later. Up next is two finger drag and drop. And this is actually a new feature that Samsung introduced with the Z Fold 5 for this year. It's not something we had last year. Basically how this works is, let's say you have your gallery application. So let's go into the gallery. And uh, let's say I want to select some photos. I'm gonna select all three of these photos and I wanna put them in a message. Now, normally you could open a split screen window with messages and drag and drop them over last year and that would work. Sometimes though, you wanna do everything in full screen. So I can hold these three down, select them, go outside of the application. I can go into my messages app and I can then open right here. This is a text I got from Mint telling me to set up my data on my new phone and I can paste all three of them into a message and it'll convert it to MMS and then I could send it. That is really, really cool because you do not have to do things in split screen view. You can run both apps in full screen view and still drag and drop. So this two finger gesture is something completely new and I think it's very exciting. It doesn't work in all applications though. Um, as you guys saw, I do not use Samsung Messages as my default messenger. I use Beeper. Um, I don't have it on the home screen because I need to edit it. But I use Beeper, which is right here. And Beeper does not support the drag and drop. So kind of a bummer if you use different apps, but things like WhatsApp, um, regular Samsung Messages will support it, as well as Gmail and I think like Google Docs. Next, you guys probably noticed that I have this vertical app drawer. And yes, if you're a big Samsung fan, you know how I got this, but you know that it hasn't been working on the foldables until now. They finally made it work, but there's a little bit of a bug. If you want to enable the vertical app drawer, you're gonna to need to download Samsung's GoodLock application from the Galaxy Store. And then what you can do is download on the first page up here, the Home Up module. This is all made by Samsung, not a third party. Go into Home Up, go into Home Screen, and enable the App List option. This allows you to have a vertical app drawer instead of having to scroll horizontally uh, and have all those pre-made folders that Samsung has for you. Now I will tell you, there's a bug with this. When you do it, you have to go up to the top, go to sort, and you have to change the order, and then you can change it back if you want. Uh, otherwise, the icons won't show up. I could not get these to show up. Also notice, they're really big. Uh, I changed this to the maximum app grid size I could with inside the Home Up module, and I still get a really big icon size. Maybe that's why they haven't optimized it yet for the fold, but it's nice that it works, because I hate the horizontal app drawer. The last thing is another good lock module, but this is a very, very useful one, and I would encourage all of you guys to check it out. If you go into GoodLock and you download the One Hand Operation Plus module, which is up here in the second one with the little settings icon, One Hand Operation Plus allows you to have these handles on the left, right side of your device that you can then swipe to accomplish different tasks. I have three things set for my task. Quick Tools, Widgets Pop-Up, and Quick Launcher. 
and you can do multiple other things. This is an entire video. I have several videos on this, which I can drop below. But when you're on the home screen or in any application, you can then use these gestures like this. I can go straight right, and it gives me all of my quick kind of settings, Bluetooth, everything I wanna do. I don't have to swipe down from the quick panel. This is super useful, as well as playback controls for YouTube, because this is such a large phone. Now, if I do diagonal down, I get my launcher and I get all my different applications here. I can add a subset of them that I could then launch. And then lastly, what I have set to the diagonal up is I have a widgets pop-up. So what this does here is it gives me a pop-up and I can actually add additional widgets here. I can add as many widgets as I want. Um, you can add tons of widgets, as many pages as you want, and you can have all of your widgets and just scroll through them in this pop-up window using One Hand Operation Plus. You can also set One Hand Operation Plus gestures to do your flashlight, any other number of things that you want on your phone. And of course, I'll make some more videos on that specific to the Fold 5. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification icon for future videos like this. I uh, hope you guys will check it out. Again, if you want to save some money on your wireless service, mintmobile.com slash Springer. Um, sign up for any three-month Mint Mobile plan today. You'll get that 50% off the unlimited price right now. Plus, you can get a free smartphone case from me if you sign up with my link. You can touch with me via email or Twitter DM. Appreciate, men, for being partners with the channel. Appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.